Howdy, partners, and thank you for tuning in to a special Halloween edition of Wildcast. I'm your deputy, Michael Hernandez. And I'm Toby Schmidt. Wildcats past and present gathered on campus this weekend to celebrate the University of Arizona's 101st homecoming. Students, alumni, and their families enjoyed a bonfire and pep rally on Friday night, complete with the crowning of the homecoming court's king and queen. Homecoming king is Eddie McCann! And the 2015 homecoming queen is Brenna McGill! A homecoming parade a homecoming parade took place on Saturday before Arizona football played against Washington State. While the university celebrated its 101st homecoming, Arizona's Greek life celebrated 100 years of being on campus. Wildcast reporter Lexi Oakley has a roundup of the weekend's Greek festivities. The U of A has been home to approximately 90 sororities and fraternities since 1915. The University of Arizona celebrated its 100th Greek homecoming this weekend. Events included the Geraldo Rivera Park groundbreaking, as well as the White Light Party, where alumni from various chapters throughout the years are celebrated. Our strong foundations date back to our first national chapter, Kappa Sigma, in 1915. Our chapter is very proud to be the fraternity responsible for the 100th being this year. We were founded 100 years ago in 1915, and We've, we've been off and on since then, but for the most part, our chapters had a strong presence here at the University of Arizona, and we're very proud of that. The Pride of Arizona kicked off the festivities by touring around campus and performing for various groups. This Thursday night at the, at the block party, we had um, a huge, decorated our, our whole house and everything, um, Greek, Greek themes, so um, we got to mingle with alumni that came through our house. White Light party goers enjoyed an alumni dinner and were able to take photos with old friends in a photo booth with various props. This is what grows the future. They're the people that are out there putting themselves out there. So it's really exciting to think that the Greeks have been established that long for that uh, on one campus. It's really a lot of fun to see how the university has changed. It's so much bigger than it was. 50 years ago. I came for my 25th reunion, so I haven't been a complete stranger, but to come back and see how it's thriving, how the community itself has grown is quite, it's, it's quite stirring and it makes me feel very optimistic about the future. Reporting from the UA Mall for Wildcast, I am Alexis Oakley. The Flandreau Science Center and Planetarium will be hosting their annual Spooktacular Science Weekend October 30th through November 1st. Visitors will be able to enjoy activities including slippery slime, squid dissections, and a brain zoo. Fright Lights, the center's Halloween laser light show, will also be showing. For a full list of dates and times, check out flandreau.org. If the idea of Flan Flandreau's brain zoo doesn't spook you enough, this just might. This Wednesday, Department of English professor Gerald Hogel will be giving a lecture on the dark immortality of the vampire at the Fox Theater as part of UA's downtown lecture series. During this free event, Hogel will explore the evolution of the vampire and its status as a pop culture figure. You can get your tickets that day at the Fox Theater's box office. The slaughterhouse on Grant Road near I-10 bills itself as the scariest haunted house in Tucson. But is it as spooky as it claims? Wildcast reporter Kendra Hall visited the haunted house and caught the reactions of some frightened visitors. We are right outside the slaughterhouse about to go in. I don't know about you, but I think it's going to be pretty scary. The slaughterhouse is Tucson's largest and most terrifying haunted house. We are extremely scary. Um, a lot scarier than most haunted houses around here. Uh, a lot of the other haunted houses are kind of family 
oriented, but we aim more for the teenage and college kind of level, and we kind of step up the scale. Get back here! The Slaughterhouse features five scary attractions this season, four haunted houses, and the Apocalypse, which is a live-action zombie-killing experience. One of the houses is Tucson's only extreme hunt where they can grab a hold of visitors. It's very scary. Yeah. So many clowns. I'm super scared of clowns. But I went actually was a death in the building uh, when it was still in operation. There was a personal elevator and a guy was basically de decapitated and killed. So his name was Doug and we like to say that Dougie haunts the building still. And uh, there has been people that have seen and heard strange things around the building from him. So. I got a pretty scared. I jumped a few times. The Slaughterhouse will be open all weekend long, and on Halloween, it'll be open until midnight. You can buy your tickets online or in person. Reporting live from the Slaughterhouse for UATV, I'm Kendra Hall. We have three victims heading your way. <laughs> Don't be a sad panda about it, Toby. Don't you like haunted houses? <laughs> no. No, I don't. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. You know, I went out with uh, Kendra to the slaughterhouse, and, you know, of the two, she was definitely the braver. You know, I, uh, I hit some notes at the slaughterhouse that I haven't even, you know, you lost reached your hat, in the shower. Yeah. Yes, I completely... Yeah. I'm Derek Williams, your former U of A Wildcat. You're watching UA TV. Don't change the channel. Welcome back to Wildcast. Did you know that there is a tree on campus that has been to the moon? It's located between Kuiper Science, Space Sciences and the Flandreau Science Center. Planted in 1976, the moon tree was sent as a seed during the Apollo 14 space mission to test how zero gravity affects germination. An event celebrating the moon tree will be this Friday, October 30th from 4.30 to 5.30 in the Kuiper Space Sciences building. Basketball season is almost underway, but you don't have to be on Coach Miller's team to show off your stroke. Wilbur the Wildcat will be shooting hoops on the UA Mall today as part of the university's UA Cares fundraiser. This Tuesday through Thursday at 4 p.m., people who give a dollar donation will have the chance to beat Wilbur's high score. The money raised will be going to the Arizona Assurance, Assurance Scholarship Fund. Another fundraiser will be on the U of A Mall, but this one is for the Friends of the Four-Legged Variety. The Sweat for Pets, Walk, Run, and Roll will be held this Sunday, November 1st. Participants can sign up to walk alone or with a team, but are encouraged to bring their friends of the Four-Legged Variety, where they can compete in their own Halloween costume contest. <laughs> the proceeds raised will benefit the Humane Society of Southern Arizona. You can register online at sweatforpetstucson.org. We're almost wrapping up the month of October, which is also known as known for being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Wildcast reporter Brooke Goldstein attended the university's Think Pink Fashion Show, which raises money for the Susan G. Komen Foundation and has more from the runway. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which means it's also time for the annual Think Pink Fashion Show. I'm Priscilla Chamberlain and the Activities Director for the Wildcat Events Board. And today we're hosting our annual Think Pink Fashion Show. As we get clubs to apply, our clubs and organizations on campus, and then they choose one of their members to be the model for the fashion show. Judges, usually we try to get ASUA cabinet members. So this year we have the ASUA president, Manny Phillips. We have the ASUA administrative vice president, Tatum Hammond. We have the ASUA elections commissioner, Diego Alvarez. And we also have representative from Susan G. Komen as well. His name is Chris Keynes, and he's the treasurer of Susan G. Komen Southern. We got donations from local companies.
Grammys in Tucson. And so we have about 20 donations, and we do dollar raffles throughout the event. And so we're going to be drawing raffle tickets throughout the night, and lucky contestants or lucky raffle winners are going to get, get the donations. All the proceeds tonight will be given to the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. The winning team will get to put their name on the check given to the foundation. <laughs> This is a, a non-traditional fashion show, so we're really just looking for the you know, most creative thing people can come up with, you know, good positive attitude, funny attitude, whatever you want. The show raised over $1,600 total for the night. The freshman class council took the trophy, having their name written on the check presented to the foundation. Reporting from the University of Arizona Wildcast, I'm Brooke Goldstein. Well, Halloween is all about having a little fun. Toby, you look absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Michael. And Virginia, you look like a ray of sunshine. Tell us about the weather for this weekend. Well, if you can't tell, I'm trying to actually match how today was outside. It was a beautiful day outside today, 86 degrees, mostly sunny outside. And as we move into tonight, things are going to, or excuse me, if we take a look at the almanac, things are actually well above average for this time of year. So we're about five degrees above our average. Thankfully, nowhere near our records. Nobody wants it to be 96 degrees outside in the middle of October. And our low outside tonight was 61 degrees. So that's also well above average for this time of year. That low average is, or that low is going to continue to stay above average for a little while. If we take a look at what to expect tonight, we can kind of see the start of that. All right, so 59 degrees, still above average for this time of year. Partly cloudy outside tonight, but not very many clouds. And it's a beautiful full moon outside. So if you haven't taken a look up at the skies this evening, it's clear enough that you'll see the moon in full perspective, and it's absolutely gorgeous. If we take a look at tomorrow, this is when things are going to start to cool down a little bit. 81 degrees outside tomorrow, so right on average for this time of year. Sunny and warm outside. That's probably the last day of right on average temperatures we're going to see into the end of this weekend if we take a look at our five day forecast you can see what i'm talking about 84 degrees on tuesday and then it's going to jump to 83 on wednesday so those are actually above average for this time of year and then thursday things are just going to drop to 78 degrees outside so right below average three degrees so not too bad but as we get into thursday friday primarily and then into saturday that's when things are going to cool down considerably you know, even though it's going to be pretty chilly outside, everything should still be great for a fine Halloween, you know, unless somebody poisons the water hole. I wouldn't <laughs> want that to happen. Toby, can you pull my string? Thank you, Virginia, for the forecast. I have to say, you're my favorite deputy. <laughs> and you'll always have a friend in me. Thank you, Virginia. We'll be right back after the commercial break. Hi, Stephen Hassel off the hop. Get off with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial. Well, folks, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you have a very good Halloween. Uh, if you'd like to check us out, we have our YouTube channel, UATV CH3. And you're also welcome to give us a like on Facebook. And we'd like to give a special thank, thank you to Zach Heineck, our general manager, for letting us dress up for this show. We really appreciate it. And I'd like to give a special shout out to Morgan for letting me borrow this costume. Good night.